10 miles today we're carrying on with some more training we're doing installing the drayton wiser multi kit multi-zone kit too so we've got the kit 2 version because we're working on heating and hot water the system we're working on is a s plan so we've got the zone valve for the heating here maybe look down there you see the zone valve for the hot water this system is completely um valent made we have to make some alterations to make it compatible with the wiser kit too so this is the vrc 400 and we're actually going to get rid of this because it's not compatible with this system that we are installing so this is a cable from that vrc 400 which we're going to get rid of we're then going to need to install the back the back plate for the wiser hub so we can connect it to the wiring sensor okay so this is your our back plate for our programmer i just made some markings where we're going to fit it so we'll get that in now so we've just drilled the wall put the plugs in so now we're just screwing it in so we've got the back plate on now the uh, next step is get up inside this wiring center we're going to look at the configuration and then wire it up to this back plate before we've got inside the wiring center we've just took the fuse out of the spur so now we can get inside it's obviously a valent system with its own electronic pcb so we won't be able to use this for our wiser system so we're gonna to have to incorporate this instead so it looks quite complicated but all we're focusing on is um, these wires here so the zone valve for the heating and the zone valve for the hot water and this supply so now we're just going to remove them Let's start this one So as you can see, we've removed the box off the wall. We've got, here we've got our permanent wire, the power for the heating and the hot water. As you can see, we've, the orange and grey have been cut back on this one. And we actually, we're actually going to need those. So we're going to cut this back so that we have them too. We just drilled our, our bits into the wall. And before we cut back them wires, we're just going to put our new wiring sensor on the wall. So we've just got the first screw in, so I'll put the second one. Okay, so we've come up with another big problem, which is how are we going to control the hot water? So the problem is that the hot, hot water was controlled electronically through this circuit board. So this is the lead which actually sends the temperature of the hot water and we also can't use this so here's your live feed coming in which goes through the control stack through the overheat stack and comes out here which goes to the immersion heater but we're going to take over this cable and connect it to our hot water zone valve down here as you can tell it's getting very technical now and you need a high level of expertise that's why i'm being trained by the best so we've turned the power off so there's no power coming in and we're just going to now disconnect the cable from the spur switch so we've disconnected it from the spur switch and now our brown is going to and the blue is going to connect to our wiring center and this is going to be the live for the zone valve so as you can see we've just wired in our live neutral nerf and now we're going to take it out to our hub so the feed now for the hub is all connected up so the next step is we're now going to connect our live for the central eating from number four to the fourth one across our wiring sensor zone valve so now we've wired in our hot water which is coming on terminal 3 the brown wire up to terminal 8 and also our central eating which is on the blue coming into terminal 4 so because we don't 
because we don't have a hardwired room thermostat, we've put this link in because we've got a wireless one and the wire coming out here is going to go to our heating zone valve. So we've linked our hub here to our heating zone valve and we've connected the grey from the hot water and the heating zone valve. And we're also going to put a link in from our supply to our greys to make them a permanent live. Okay, so here, here it is now, our link from the greys to the live coming in. So I'll just mention now, we've connect, now connected our earths from the zone valves, as you can see here. So here's three from the hub going to six, and there's brown going to the hot water zone valve. Connected the orange wires from the zone valves, which are which are our switch lives to the boiler. Now just connected our neutrals, and now we can move on to the cylinder stack. So this brown wire here is the hot water coming from the hub, which then goes to this brown to the cylinder thermostat, and the power coming back from this cylinder thermostat is then going to our hot water zone valve. So the brown wire is coming from the output, the hot water output on the hub, going through the cylinder stat and the overheat. Then they're coming, returning on the blue, going to the brown on the hot water zone valve. So the final piece of the puzzle is now connecting the switch, the orange switch lives to connect to the boiler. The boiler now, I'm gonna get the case off and get inside. There's just two clips, which push up like so. And there you go. And do these clips on the sides and get this front cover off to the PCB. We're gonna get rid of this cable, which is from the VCR 400, the old controller. I'm going to remove the link on three and four, and put a put a connection in four, running the cable back to the switch, the orange switch live, for the pump and boiler. And our new cable through, which is on the four, like we said, and the other side of that is then going to connect to our orange switch live in the wiring centre. So well, this is the cable coming in, coming back from the boiler. As you can see we've connected here. So as you can see we've put all the clips on to hold the wires in place and we've also connected the hub onto the back plate. So you're going to turn the power on, get your app downloaded, you're going to press the setup button once, it's flashing. You're going to select hub, hub R, and we've already pressed that, so you know, open Wi Fi. So, Wiser should come up after pressing the setup button once. So, we're going to press that. And now we're connected, we're going to go back to the app. Press OK. So, now you're going to Press continue once you're all connected. You are now connected to your hub. Gas heat source type, gas boiler, yeah. Control type, relay. So you can select your fuel type, gas, oil, electric, or heat pump. We are on a gas boiler, so we're going to leave it at that. Hit next. Now it wants to connect to the home Wi Fi. We can actually skip this step. Now we've connected to the Wi-Fi, we're going to put the batteries in to our devices, starting with the stack, and then the power should come on. So we're going to add devices and start with room thermostat. So we've inserted the batteries and devices joined. You can now mount the thermostat on the wall or on the desk stand provided. 
So now our SWAT room, this device is going to control. So we've just put living room. And now it's time to connect the radiator thermostat. So we've selected the device on the app for the radiator thermostat and it says to put the batteries in, like I'm doing now. It started vibrating. So we now turn to the plus sign and hold it. Joined, it says. So now we've got the batteries in. We've come to the radiator, removed the old thermostat. But we need an adapter for this one. So it comes with one. And all you do to keep it on tight, as you can see, it's loose is get your allen key and tighten it up like so so we've added the room thermostat but we've actually not been able to add the radiator thermostats as the customers radiators don't have the aren't compatible with the fittings that we've been given with the radiator thermostats so we're going to press done and now it's asking to create an account so it says please skip if you are not the homeowner, so we're going to press yes. Allow notifications, so now we can control the hot water and the heating. So we're just going to test the boost, we'll start with the heating, just for half an hour. You hear the click? So the boiler, the boiler started now, and it's just fired up, as you can see the burner lights come on. So the heating lights come on as well, so now we're just going to turn it back off, and it should go off. You can hear the zone valve closing and the lights gone off on the hub so now we'll do the same for the hot water 30 minutes the hot water lights come on the burners come on and the hot water is working right so that's our, our job finished as you can see it it wasn't very easy it's quite a challenge um, I think quite a lot of engineers will see see that changing the whole valent system over and you know turn the other way, but it just goes to show that if you take it step by step, you can accomplish what you put your mind to. So I'm happy with with the challenge that we've uh, overcome today, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.